If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be taking a look at a deck that hasn't been super popular in Expanded. It only showed up at Portland and it features Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno Tag Team GX, which <clears throat> has been seeing more play. Um, like initially when it came out, it didn't seem like it was a great card overall, but as time goes on, um, it started popping up in Standard and now it's popping up in Expanded as well. Combined with Pyroar and Whole EX, you want to power up Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, 210 is a very solid amount in Expanded. Um, dealing 240 with a Choice Band, um, that extra 30 damage can sometimes be very difficult to pull off, but you also have the Sky Legends, GX Attack, where <clears throat> You shuffle Moltres, Abdos, Articuno back into your deck, and if you have um, four total energy, including a fire, water, and lightning, you deal 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. So it sets up some nice numbers very easily. Um, Daltra, thank you so much for the five bits. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> thank you so much. And um, the idea is we want to battle numbers our way whole. We actually want to use Rebirth to get it back into play flipping heads and attaching one of each of these energies. And then we get to Ninja Boy, switching a basic Pokemon that we have in play for a Pokemon in our deck. And that way we get Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. And we can also Ninja Boy into Lilio and evolve into Pyro, where we have the ability Intimidating Main and we prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from opponent's basic Pokemon. So a real nice way to wall certain decks in a format which is based on which is based on tag teams and basic GXs. Scorching Fang, um, dealing 60 damage is not super impactful, but if you're dealing 60 and they're dealing zero, that's good enough, right? That is good enough. So let's see what we can do with this deck. The engine outside of that, it runs on Battle Compressor, VS Seeker, and then a variety of supporters. We have Fava as well to get rid of um, tool cards and delay our opponent's um, attacks that are based on special energies, potentially. Um, <clears throat> why does Blastoise and Piplup exist, but not Greninja using Stormy as a Shuriken tag team card, right? That would have been a great idea. <laughs> Greninja and Stormy tag team GX, that would have actually been a pretty cool thing. And just have Giant Water Shuriken as an ability, right? <laughs> that would have been pretty sick, I'd say. Okay, so we're probably up against Egg, Egg Rowlet. Yeah. <clears throat> we're probably up against Egg Rowlet, so that will stop our um, our friend Articuno from attacking. But if we can set up the Pyro, then we should be in a good spot. So we'll see what happens. The opponent is going first. We are always guaranteed to get a turn of items. Um, this could get trapped very easily in the active. Um, well, I guess we have Ninja Boy. Still, though. I kind of like starting Shaman. Like, I don't like it, but I think it's better than starting this if we're up against Rowlet Executor. Alright. Well, never mind. <laughs> What? We're up against Benomas GX. Okay, so bad read on my part, I guess. Meh. Arguably. 
arguably. I would have never in my mind, like I would have never crossed my mind to think about Benomas GX here, but I guess we'll see what our opponent has in store for us. Don't want to bench anything else. My opponent also starts Shaman. I generally don't know what my opponent has in store for me. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> My opponent's taking a while, maybe he's just AFK. Yep, never mind. So we won't get to see the all powerful Venomous GX deck. Alright. Alright. I should always expect Venomous GX, it's becoming the new meta. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> Alright, we lose the coin flip. That's fine. And we start with Lilio. I guess we'll find out what we're up against immediately. And then we'll figure out if we want to focus on Pyro or if focusing on our ADP, not ADP, Aricono Saptos Moltres, ADM card is better. And my opponent simply attaches and passes, all right. So, is my goal to just set up another Lilio this turn? Is that my goal? Wow, with Trainer's Mail, that's not great. Um, okay, so I kind of like just getting rid of these two and then going for a Compressor. There is a universe where I attack on turn one. It's not a likely one, so one hole is priced, and then I'll discard lightning, that's the one I'm missing. Um, I did price a water, and I priced two weakness cards. <coughs> so, oh my gosh, oh, I need to discard a supporter. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, I guess it's a little early for me to steal. That was very silly. I needed to discard one hole, one sycamore and one lightning, or two holes and one light and two holes and one sycamore. Morning Jedi, clearly <laughs> still not at a hundred percent. Oopsies. <clears throat> so I apologize for that. Yeah, I apologize for that. Let's see if we can finally get a good game. That was on me a hundred percent though. Um, okay, so once again, I don't know what I'm up against other than Dragon. <clears throat> All right. All right. So I would like to draw the card. Why the early stream? Well, because today my times just worked out that way. Um, all right, so we're up against Ultron and Crossmo. I guess I'll grab the end. No, I won't. Will I? Ah, uh, sure, I'll, I will. Um, the floatstone on the active is very nice. The stadium is also pretty nice. And then we got Professor Juniper. Um, 
yeah, like I haven't even been streaming on Fridays for the most part, but today seems like a good day to to stream. All right, we'll discard that and we'll grab a water, right? That's the one, well, that's one of the ones I'm missing. Grab the water, then I'm gonna go computer search this and this for a battle compressor, right? Yeah. And then Articuno Saptos Moltres' GX attack is going to be very devastating for my opponent. So now I get rid of this and I am missing the fire. Yep. <coughs> I am indeed missing the fire. So I know that my opponent will go ahead and um, try and play down a side lap. So can we get one heads, please? Just one. There we go. So as long as my opponent doesn't have Stadium, Stadium, Double Dragon, and Guzma, we should be fine here. So I'll go ahead and do this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and play down the Lele, because I'll probably, I'm probably going to get um, Silent Labbed, so now I have the Ninja Boy. And then next turn, I am basically, oh, I didn't, well, I guess my opponent will not play a GX. That's a really cool ability, actually. Okay, so does my opponent have immediate Guzma Stadium? Guzma Stadium Double Dragon? Hopefully not. Right? Hopefully not. See a Nest Ball. We see a Nest Ball. Right. You see a field blower. Well, that's annoying, right? Because now my opponent won't KO the Lilio, and that means we won't be able to retreat it. Darn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he was. She was holding the Guzma. Yikes. She was missing the stadium. Um, we get end. Don't mind that. If I get a Kuzma, I'm still in. Well, if I get a PS Seeker, rather, because my Kuzma's in the Discord ball, and I do. Well, no, because I need to Ninja Boy. Ugh. And I don't have Ninja Boy, in fact. My opponent's playing Shrine. Not Silent Lab. That is a mistake. That is 100% a mistake. <clears throat> All right, there's a non ultron Grossma, there's a Zion Lab. Okay, so she does end up KOing me, and I don't have a Ninja Boy, so I can't actually return KO here. Ugh. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, so I just Juniper, right? I mean, I'll bench this in case I need some backup, I guess. But yeah, I seem to be Juniper here. Losing the stretcher, losing that, drawing that, not finding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm about to lose here. I actually think I'm about to lose here. <laughs> Just the cards are not coming out in the right combination. I mean, was playing the Lele preventively a bad goal? No, because if I don't do that and my opponent doesn't end me, then I'm drawing dead. Was I supposed to expect the end when I have three cards in hand? I don't think so. Well, I mean, this is not the end of the world, as long as I have a double Lele. <laughs> Well, no, it is, because how on earth do I retreat? <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just nothing working out well. Nothing working out well here. All right, so let me first check to see if I have another Lele. I do not. I only have Shaman. But if I draw my other bird, I'm dead. 
<sighs> All right. So then let's go. I mean, I can't retreat anyways. Right, I cannot retreat anyways. So let's do that and let's, okay, let's go for this once again and I'll attach to that. Tails, tails. And <laughs> five out of six tails, awesome. <laughs> now I find this, but I don't have a hole. This is just great, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? This deck is so bad. Like, I don't know. You need so much. VS Seekers for N? No. For Guzmahala? Okay, that's fine. She'll get a stadium. She'll get another double dragon. And that's fine. <laughs> Feck, thank you so much. <laughs> How are you doing? Table, table, mon, mon. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. Only goes for the stadium, however. <clears throat> Only goes for the stadium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven item cards. So my plan, as long as I don't top deck my silly uh, bird, the, tape, the match is, I'm really struggling here. I'm really struggling. Okay, that is not a bad card to get. All right, so can I please just flip one heads? Six tails, seven tails, you're kidding me. Breathe, Pablo, breathe. Because people don't like it when you complain, so breathe. <laughs> I've lived eight out of nine tails. Eight out of nine tails. They weren't in a row, technically. Six were in a row, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, deck. Um, sure, I'll go first. Okay, so not a great start. Not a great start here. We are getting mulligans for Oz this time around, that's awesome. like to draw extra cards okay so this is like looking pretty good right this is actually looking pretty good we're gonna discard these three and my opponent simply decides to concede okay so today is angry bird three <laughs> that's really good alex that's really good um okay Okay, okay, okay. All right. So I would like to go first. Thank you very much. All right. Starting Mew is very nice. Having this hand is pretty decent, not gonna lie. Right, not gonna lie. All right. So, what is this? Devolve one of your opponents, okay. I don't have to worry about that, right? Right? Go ahead and do this, and I guess we'll grab another hole. That seems okay. 
I really just want to attack with the bird. Why is it so difficult? This is the fourth game and I have yet to attack once with the silly bird. Not once. Uh, Pokedot Cam. I'm only doing games today. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so Ultra Ball away. These two. For a Ho Oh. Right? Yeah, that seems good. And then I guess just because I can attach, it's okay to revert here. Oh, there's a hands. Thank you. Like, it really matters me because I generally had a chance to win the previous game, but it just it, it wasn't happening. And then we'll go Juniper. So now we're missing a Lightning Energy and we are missing a, um, a Ninja Boy. Uh, is this bad news? No, it's not still. Okay, I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of that. And I'm getting rid of Ninja Boy. Oh, I have two VS Seekers. Come on. Well, one surprise. Okay. Uh, no more. No Lele. Lele is prized. <laughs> Lele is prized. Okay, I'll get rid of Baba then. And I guess. I stop here, right? Let's see what my opponent has in store for us. Let's see what my opponent has in store for us. A shockle. Interesting. That he has a shockle. So maybe some sort of hollow deck as well. Discards three grass. I have no idea what we're up against. We are about to get our mind blown here. We get judged out of the stadium. The bird goes back into the deck, and now we are dead drawing. <laughs> I actually. Okay, so I'm gonna attack with Ho. Today is the let's not attack ever with Articuno Saptus Moltres Day. <laughs> um, I don't I don't even understand what is happening here. I do want to top deck that and that and any energy and so yeah that seems okay. Okay. So I guess I'm playing a turbo hold deck. <laughs> what on earth is happening? I Generally, do not understand. Like this isn't even good because I can't compress with a ninja boy because I'm missing the lightning. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Wow! I never published a video on YouTube. I forgot. Okay, and now there's a pass, and now there's a Snorlax. <laughs> now there's a Snorlax here. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Um. What? I, d I don't even understand what to do. Alright, I guess we're sycamoring or junipering. What even is this? Does this KO me? 60, 120, 150. He needs a shrine. He has that. Okay, I found the lightning. Awesome. Now I just need to find a ninja boy. We get a prize. Oh my gosh. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? And yeah, they'll try. I mean, we're winning with Ho, so I'll take it. <laughs> I will certainly take it.
110 damage is not enough. Oh my gosh, it's Venomoth GX again. <laughs> what? Why would you... Please... I don't get it. Oh my gosh, now we are confused. <laughs> Now we are confused and poisoned. And we are almost dead. Um, what on earth is happening here? <laughs> I can't, I don't even understand. Okay. Uh, does that find me Kuzma? Right, yeah. That does, okay, so I can get another KO. I don't want to risk the coin flip, right? I really don't. So I'm relying on flipping heads. <laughs> I'm relying on flipping heads to beat my opponent. That is just crazy. Um, oh, you know what? I could bring up the, the Snorlax here. You can bring up this Norlax and attack into it, and then I will go Ninja Boy and use my GX and get three prizes. I think that's correct. I think that makes sense. Whilst attaching here. Okay, so we have a plan. We have a plan. Is Venomoth a real deck and expanded? I do not think so, Mr. Soda King, no. I think we are just running into interesting decks in the ladder right now but i do not think that is a real deck no <clears throat> okay will we get to see the mythical will we get to see the mythical venomoth gx right here and or will my opponent simply bench on our pokemon and let us win with our gx attack oh no we can't take four prizes never mind third venonet Please don't evolve anything. Please just pass. Please just pass. Please just pass. Please just pass. Yes. Wait, what? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Final. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. At least I'm the stretcher, but what are the odds? What are is this even real life? Is this even real life? Okay. Um, <laughs> is this even real life? What on earth is happening here? <laughs> okay, so this is going back into the deck after it just came out. Um, one, two, three. All right. So we get through. <laughs> Thankfully, we had that stretcher. Otherwise, I actually think I would have cried a little. That would have been so <laughs> bad. Okay. So now all we need to do is hunt this guy down. We're having so much trouble winning against this deck. <clears throat> That's the first time we use Articuno Saptic Moltres in four games. But we're getting there. We are slowly but surely getting there. Oh, I can't even KO this Norlax. That's so silly. That is actually so silly. Oh, but my opponent does have good smell. All right. Hola, Dre. This guy heals itself every turn in between turns. Okay, so I can't win this turn, I believe. Um, well, maybe I can? No, I can't. Can I? No, I'm missing an energy. Oh, well, maybe I can. Okay, so I'm gonna try, right? Let's try. Let's discard a bird and grab, which one am I missing? Lightning, water, fire, okay. Let's do that, and then we will Ultra Ball these two for Shaman, right? Yeah. And then we are going to hopefully flip ahead. Thank you so much for a follow. 
I carry this. Okay, now we're flipping all the heads, right? Because that's how it works. Okay, so all we need is an energy off of this setup shaman. So there's the ninja boy. <clears throat> Put back the ho oh, get this friend. And then we'll play trainer's mail, grabbing the computer search, and that guarantees that we get an energy. We'll just set up for four. We'll computer search, grab any energy, or we just draw it. And there's the victory. Awesome, 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 awesome. That was, <laughs> until the very last turn detected what it usually wants to do. Um, so I guess let's try one more game with this before we move on to the Sander Pero special. Before we move on to the Sander Pero special, <laughs> which is an Axelbert deck, you can see it right there. Next to the Burbs, we have the Axelbert deck. He posted a list on his Twitter, I modified it a little. Um, I don't think the deck is fantastic, but I didn't play it more than three or four games. If you manage to set up, it's pretty nice, but we'll see. <clears throat> we shall see if it works out. Okay, Turbo against a Dark Psychic deck. I'm not sure what that means. Could it simply be Turbo Dark, right? Could simply be Turbo Dark. All right, and we get to go first, which is awesome. What did Axelgar gain? Um, Pidgeotto engine? And like you can use Jirafari to loss on their Guzma, maybe. So, all right, so we are up against Turbo Dark. Do I want to? Assume that my opponent will have. Do I want to assume that my opponent will have? Um, do I want to assume that my opponent will have something? Um, Weavile. I think he will. Right. That's what you should expect most of the time from. Turbo Dark decks, so get a Ninja Boy, get a Fava, get a Lilio. So I think I just lay for Sycamore. How many VS Seekers are prized? Zero. Okay, that's good news. That is very good news here. And then we'll go Juniper. And then after this game, I will be giving out another $10 coupon code for Poton Store. Okay, guys, so make sure for those of you who are here watching, maybe you will be interested in that. Okay, so Battle Compressor away. I already have a hoe and a fire, and I can get a water if I retreat this turn. So, and I feel like that's fine, and the lightning. And then let's go Trainer's Mail for Field Blower, that's not great. And then I definitely think I retreat here. I'll retreat into the other Shaman. I don't think I mind losing the two prizes immediately. And then let's see if we can reverse. Let's see if we can reverse. Let's see if we can reverse, please. There we go. Okay, all right, so three energies, ho-oh, and that's how we will finish our turn. We'll see what happens next. The ideal situation would be for my opponent to go like, what? <laughs> we can't get one good game. We actually can't get one good game. What is wrong with the ladder today? I guess that wasn't the last game after all. I guess that wasn't the last game after all. Right. Okay. Probably another Turbo Dark deck. 
They also have the advantage. So that means we're up against a tough opponent. We do get to go first, which is great. Great, 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 great. And I mean, starting Lilio seems good against a dark deck because we will get the free retreat with the wild dash. And then we'll see what else we do here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's that deck. Um, okay. Wow. <clears throat> Let's play Andrian. Let's read away this for one of the energy that we have three of. Actually, no, it should be the water. Get rid of this and this. So let's grab. I think that then it's fine. Yeah, losing the field lore sucks, but oh well. Did it change? Oh, not bad. Okay, and trying another bird is just awful, but oh well. Um, I haven't played a supporter, so if I manage to ninja void this turn, then I can have the Kuzma for next turn, so I think I like that. <clears throat> Which means I'm gonna go ahead and computer search away these two for a compressor, right? Yeah, Bow compressor away the hose and a water. Right, that's all I'm missing. I have one bird in the back. I mean, in the deck still. So I definitely want to use my ability right now. There we go. Awesome. Thank you for doing it first try. Three energies, and then we'll Ninja Boy, and then we will um, set up for five more. And then we have Guzmas, we have Via Seekers, and a Floatstone to try and beat our opponent. And we're threatening with a GX attack and that's pretty big. Alright. Alrighty, I like this. I like this. And let's bench the Mew for free trade purposes. Okay. Not bad. I think. Like the worst thing that happens is my opponent doesn't bench another basic. So then we, we scramble to retreat the Lilio because we have one float stone. All right. Okay, double Robozob. I mean, we have game with the GX attack right here. Right, we have game with the GX attack right here. Is that what our, fu is that what our future holds for us? Via Seeker, why would you play Via Seeker? And we win. What, are, what even are these games? Oh, that's why you play the Via Seeker. What even are these games? <laughs> Uh, no, they are not uh, peanut butter my name's Alex. I ran out of those a while ago. <laughs> I ran out of those a while ago. All right, and there's a victory. <laughs> what um what a weird time to be playing in the expanded ladder. Um but yeah, that's birds for you. Um not a big fan of the deck, but it just it wasn't running that well for us. Um, keep drawing the birds, um, keep flipping tails, and I don't want to rely on flipping heads or tails, right? So, yeah, not my not my cup of tea, but I'm sure it's a fun deck, and I'm sure some people will find interest in it. So, if you're watching YouTube, don't forget to like. If you're live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a few minutes after this short commercial break. Be right back. <laughs> 